Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's the quarterfinals with South High. <laughs> Taking on Buckingham Brown and Nichols. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Boston traffic is the worst. Safety Insurance offers auto insurance policies designed to help for when the worst happens. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science, Massachusetts Teachers Association, Xfinity, UMass Amherst, Peabody Essex Museum, and Subaru of New England. Hi everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Joe Hansen. Last week, Somerville defeated Phillips Academy to earn the last spot in the quarterfinals. In today's quarterfinal match, we welcome back Buckingham Brown and Nichols from Cambridge and South High Community School from Worcester. On the Buckingham Brown and Nichols team, we have Bradford, Henry, Anna Chrissa, and Aaron. With mascot Bucky, alternates Andreas and Leo, and coaches Chip Rollinson and Sam Criffield. Competing for South High, we have William, Benedict, Phoebe, and Muriel. With coaches Kayla Avellino and Kitrin Farrell. The competition has four rounds, toss-up, head-to-head, category, and a lightning round. We start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. There are no point deductions for wrong answers, and players may confer before buzzing in. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. In 2023, what overtook China as the world's most populous country? Anakrissa. India. That's correct. A 221-foot obelisk in Charlestown, Massachusetts marks the site of what encounter that was the first major battle of the American Revolution? Bradford. Bunker Hill. Correct. In 2023, what star player from Argentina made the surprising announcement that he was joining Major League Soccer to play for Miami? Bradford. Messi. Lionel Messi is correct. Because it's the fastest planet as it moves around the sun, which planet in the solar system is named after the Roman messenger god? Henry. Mercury. Correct. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve in Colorado, home to the tallest sand dunes in North America and a testing site for NASA's rovers. The park was originally established as a national monument in 1932 under which president? Benedict. Herbert Hoover. Correct. The Susquehanna River flows through what capital city of Pennsylvania? Bradford. Um. South High, opportunity to buzz in. William. Philadelphia. We're looking for Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. According to Guinness World Records, what material girl from Detroit is the best-selling female recording artist of all time? Muriel. Madonna. Correct. What element that's essential for liver function is abbreviated SE? Henry. Selenium. Selenium. That is correct. In 2023, what former UK Prime Minister stepped down as a Conservative MP after an investigation found he had misled Parliament about the scandal known as Partygate? Aaron. Cameron. No. South High, opportunity. Benedict. Boris Johnson. That's correct, Boris Johnson. Take a look at your screens. We have a question from a special guest. Hi, I'm Linda Roscoe Hardigan, Executive Director and CEO of the Peabody Essex Museum. Here's my question. Yin Yu Tong is a 200-year-old Chinese house that was brought to America and reconstructed at the Peabody Essex Museum. This stately 16-bedroom home was built by a wealthy merchant during what final imperial dynasty in China that lasted from 1644 to 1912? 
William. Qing. The Qing Dynasty is correct. Moving on. From Old Norse, meaning inlet, what word refers to spectacular deep valleys with steep sides formed by glaciers? Bradford. Fjord. Correct. Which of the following is the middle value in a set of statistical values? A, the mean, B, the median, or C, the mode? Anna Chrissa. Median. The median is correct. What constitutional amendment prohibits any U.S. president from being elected to more than two terms? Bradford. 22. The 22nd Amendment is correct. After the end of World War II, the United States recruited more than 1,600 scientists and engineers from former Nazi Germany under a secret U.S. intelligence program called Operation what? Bradford. Paperclip. Operation Paperclip is correct. One of the most translated books of all time, what 1943 French novella follows a pilot who crashes in the Sahara Desert and meets a young boy from outer space? William. The Little Prince. Correct. The 2023 Super Bowl was the most watched halftime show of all time. What pop star from Barbados performed a set that included only girl in the world, we found love, and work? Phoebe. Uh, Rihanna. That is correct. In 2023, the White House and GOP members of Congress battled over the government's debt limit. The issuance of government debt is covered under which constitutional amendment? Benedict. The Ninth Amendment. No. BB Nunn, opportunity. Bradford. The Tenth. No, it's the Fourteenth Amendment. Between 1750 BC and 1500 BC, what invaders swept into the Huang River Valley and established the first recorded dynasty in China? A the Han, B, the Ming, C, the Shang. William. The Hange. No, Bibi Nen. Henry. Uh, C, the Shang. C, the Shang is correct. The 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary, Alberta took place in the foothills of what major mountain range? Henry. Uh, the Rockies. The Rocky Mountains is correct. Named after the Swedish for heavy stone, what chemical element is used for making electrical light filaments because of its high melting point. Aaron. Tungsten. Tungsten is correct. Adapted for film in 2007, what nonfiction book by John Krakauer is the heartbreaking tale of Chris McCandless, a young man who hiked into the Alaskan wilderness and turned an abandoned bus into his home? Phoebe. Into the wild. Correct. In 2023, who became the first senior member of the British royal family to testify in court in more than 100 years in a case regarding the ethics of Britain's tabloid press. Bradford. Prince Harry. Correct. A widely translated international bestseller, what novel by Brazilian author Paulo Coelho tells the magical story of Santiago, a shepherd boy who travels to the pyramids of Egypt? The Alchemist is the answer there. The Mars Curiosity rover can generate enough power to operate for at least one Martian year which is almost two Earth years. It generates electricity from the heat of what element's radioactive decay? A, plutonium, B, cesium, or C, bismuth? Phoebe. A, plutonium. Plutonium is correct. Joe Biden is one of the few US presidents to visit an active war zone while in office. In 2023, he met President Zelensky in what capital city of Ukraine? Henry. Kiev. Yes, Kiev. In 1963, what segregationist governor promised to stand at the schoolhouse door to bar black students from entering the University of Alabama? Henry. Wallace. George Wallace is correct. Dinosaurs roamed the earth during what era that fell between the Paleozoic and Cenozoic eras? William. Mesozoic. The Mesozoic era is correct. In 1937, the U.S. Senate rejected a bill that would have allowed which president to add up to six more justices to the Supreme Court? Aaron. FDR. Correct. What ancient Greek author is best known for Parallel Lives, a series of biographies of famous Greeks and Romans arranged in pairs to highlight their moral virtues and vices? Bradford. Plutarch. Correct. In 1818, without government permission, General Andrew Jackson invaded Spanish territory in what present-day U.S. state? Phoebe. Florida. Florida is correct. And that's the end of the toss-up round. The score is BBNN 170 points, South High 100 points. Close game on our hands. Let's hear it for both teams.
The head head round is next, but first we're going to take a few minutes to get to know our players, and we do that with a question. BBNN, we'll start with you. Bradford, what is one thing we should know about you and why? Well, Joe, this is a pretty tough question. So instead, we all asked our teammates what they thought the one thing that the world should know about us is. And for me, my teammates decided that the one thing is that I write poetry instead of taking notes in math class. Hey, that'll come in handy in a different class. I like that, though. Henry, how about you? My teammates told me to say that I really like to listen to ambient music. I don't exactly know why they told me to say that. <laughs> Anna Krista. My teammates wanted me to share that I don't consume caffeine. Ooh, really? All right. I consume plenty, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Aaron, how about you? My teammates told me to say that I don't know the capital of Mongolia. <laughs> well, hopefully that won't come up today. South High, how about you? William? Well, after years of experience with my brothers, I can confidently say I'm the best ping pong player in this room. <laughs> All right. Well, we might find out afterwards. Benedict? Uh, a fun fact about me is that I have double jointed pinkies. Well, that is unique, and I need to check my own after this. All right. Phoebe, how about uh, you? A fun fact about me is that I'm really good at card tricks. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely going to be following up with you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> Muriel, how about you? A fun fact about me is that I can break dance. I'm also going to be following up with you. This, I've got to, you've got to prove these. All right, teams, time to go head to head. In this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total, and wrong answers result in a 10 point deduction. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Shake hands. OK. Here we go. What type of acids are the building blocks of proteins? Amino acids. Yes. In Jewish tradition, the Sabbath always begins at sundown on which day of the week? Uh, Friday. Yes. On June 11, 1971, President Richard Nixon lifted a two decades old trade embargo on what country? Looking for China. What term, first used in the 1950s, refers to a Soviet or Russian astronaut? Cosmonaut. Composer Robert Schumann and philosopher Hannah Arendt are notable alums of what university, the oldest in Germany? University of Heidelberg. No is a style of theater that originated in the 14th century in what country? Japan. Yes. Who was the highest paid actor of 2022, earning $100 million for Top Gun Maverick? Tom Cruise. Yes. Short for Hens and Moritz, the fast fashion giant H&M is headquartered in what Nordic country? Sweden. What second wave feminist is the author of the 1963 book? Ferdan. Betty Ferdan. In the 1970s, under the control of the Khmer Rouge, what present-day nation was known as? Cambodia. Yes. Jonathan Harker, Lucy Westenra, and Abraham Van Helsing are characters from what 1897 novel? Dracula. In 1862, what French chemist discovered that heat kills germs in liquids, preventing bacterial growth? Listerine. No, Louis Pasteur. And that's the end of the round. Let's take a look at the score. Buckingham Brown and Nichols has 190 points. South High with 130 points. Lots of game to play. Let's have a round of applause for both teams. Next up, the category round with the following categories. I put a spell on you. The Jung and the Restless, Green Mountain State, Holy Week, The People's House, and from screen to stage. All categories have five questions with increasing point value. Teams will choose two five-question categories each and have the option to toss one question per category to the other team that the other team must answer. Players are able to confer. BBNN, who is your spokesperson? Bradford? South High, how about you? William. All right. South High, you have a little bit of ground to make up, so the first category goes to you. We're going to do from screen to stage. From screen to stage. In this category, the questions are about Broadway musicals based on movies. For 10 points, Dead Mom and Creepy Old Guy are songs from what musical based on a 1988 comedy starring Michael Keaton as a green-haired demon? Beetlejuice. That is correct. For 15 points, Non-binary actor Jay Harrison Gee won a Tony for their performance in an adaptation of what 1959 Billy Wilder classic, 
about a pair of musicians who go on the run and disguise themselves as women after witnessing a murder. Guys, guys and dolls. Oh. Guys and dolls. Guys and dolls? No, it's Some Like It Hot. For 20 points, winner of 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical, what stage adaptation of a 2001 Baz Luhrmann film is set in a famous Paris nightclub during the Belle Epoque? Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. That's correct. For 25 points in From Screen to Stage, based on John Waters' cult film of the same name, what musical set in 1962 opens with the song Good Morning Baltimore? Hairspray. 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 That's correct. And for 30 points, Glenn Close won a Tony Award for her role as aging movie star Norma Desmond in what musical based on a classic film noir from 1950? Is it Funny Girl? No. Funny Girl? No, don't say it. The answer we're looking for is Sunset Boulevard. Phoebe Nunn, your first category. Let's take The People's House. The People's House. These are questions about the U.S. House of Representatives. For 10 points, Congress can override a presidential veto if both the House and Senate pass a majority vote by what fraction? Two-thirds, right? Yeah, two-thirds. Uh, two-thirds. That is correct. For 15 points, in December 2023, what controversial first-term New York representative was expelled from Congress over criminal corruption charges and accusations of misspending campaign money on spa treatments and luxury purchases? Santos. George Santos is correct. For 20 points, the lead impeachment manager in President Trump's first impeachment trial, what California Democrat is one of several candidates running for Dianne Feinstein's seat in the Senate? Uh, Schiff. Adam Schiff is correct. For 25 points in the People's House, Massachusetts has how many representatives in the U.S. House of Representatives? Nine. Correct. And for 30 points, the first African American to lead a party caucus in either chamber of Congress what New York congressman is the current House Democratic leader? Hakeem Jeffries. Hakeem Jeffries. Yep. Jeffries. Hakeem Jeffries is correct. South High, your second category? We're going to do Holy Week. Holy Week. These are questions about world religions. For 10 points, iftar is the evening meal eaten by Muslims after sunset during what holy month of fasting? Ramadan. That is correct. For 15 points, what religious denomination was founded in Boston in 1879 by Mary Baker Eddy, author of Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures? Christian Science. That's correct. For 20 points, what five-letter Hebrew word for law refers to the first five books of the Bible and to the entire body of Jewish law and wisdom? Torah. That's correct. For 25 points in Holy Week, in Buddhist tradition, the Lord Buddha was born in a garden grove in Lumbini in what present-day country? Nepal. Nepal. Correct. For 30 points, written in Sanskrit and divided into four major texts, what are the most ancient and important Hindu scriptures? The Vedas. The Vedas is correct. BBNN, final category. Uh, we'll take the Green Mountain State. Green Mountain State. These are questions about Vermont. For 10 points, with a population of approximately 8,000, what Vermont city is the smallest state capital in the United States? Uh, Montpelier. Correct. For 15 points, It's Okay to Be Angry About Capitalism is a best-selling book by John Nichols and what U.S. Senator from Vermont? Uh, Bernie Sanders. Correct. For 20 points in the Green Mountain State, in 2009, to celebrate a new law legalizing same-sex marriage in Vermont, what Vermont ice cream company temporarily renamed its chubby hubby flavor to hubby hubby? Uh, ben and Jerry's. Correct. For 25 points, what early Vermont settler is best known for leading the Green Mountain Boys to capture Fort Ticonderoga at the outbreak of the Revolutionary War? Uh, Allen. Ethan Allen is correct. For 30 points, nicknamed the ski capital of the East, what Vermont town is the birthplace of the National Ski Patrol? Stokes, the Mount Mansfield, I think it's the Mount Mansfield Ski Patrol, yeah, I think it's Stowe. Uh, Stowe. That is correct. Huge. That's the end of the category round. The score is Buckingham Brown and Nichols with 390 points and South High with 240 points. Let's hear it for both teams. 
Okay, we're heading into the final round of play, the lightning round. Correct answers add 20 points to the team total, and there is a 20 point deduction for incorrect answers. The clock is set, here we go. Literally meaning turn to stone, what term describes Bradford? Calcified. They're looking for petrified wood. In 1994, what figure skater was banned from US skating? Bradford. Harding. Tanya Harding. At a rate of about two millimeters per year, the Italian city of Venice is slowly sinking into what sea? Benedict. The Adriatic. Yes. The Broadway musical My Fair Lady is based on what? Bradford. Pygmalion. Yes. What structure in the brain is sometimes called the master gland because it controls the functions of the other endocrine glands? Anacrisa. Pituitary. Yes. Born into slavery in 1862, what American journalist noted for her? William. Ida B. Wells. What iconic movie starring John Travolta was filmed in Brooklyn with Key Bradford? Grease. Saturday Night Fever. In 2020 in Virginia, a century-old statue of Jefferson Davis was toppled by protesters in what former capital? Phoebe. Um, <laughs> Charlottesville. Richmond. What mountain range separates Spain from France? Bradford. Pyrenees. Yes. Part two of Victor Hugo's Les Miserables is named after what daughter of Fantine? Bradford. Cosette. Yes. Chandelier and cheap thrills are... Bradford. Sia. Yes. Victoria Falls is located on the border of Zimbabwe and what other... Phoebe. Zambia. Yes. In 2016, an asteroid was named after what lead singer of the rock band Queen? Henry. Uh, Freddie Mercury. Yes. What US state is home to Lehman... We're looking for Nevada there. The winning team this week is BBNN with a final score of 490 points. South High finishes with 240 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. BBNN moves on to the semifinals. Join us next week for our second quarterfinal match between Hopkinton and Mansfield right here on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science, Massachusetts Teachers Association, Xfinity, UMass Amherst, Peabody Essex Museum, and Subaru of New England.